Acute Proliferative Glomerulonephritis, Wikipedia Article Audio Acute proliferative glomerulonephritis is a disorder of the glomeruli, or small blood vessels in the kidneys. It is a common complication of bacterial infections, typically skin infection by Streptococcus bacteria types 12, 4, and 1 but also after Streptococcal pharyngitis, for which it is also known as post-infectious or post-Streptococcal glomerulonephritis. It can be a risk factor for future albuminuria. In adults, the signs and symptoms of infection may still be present at the time when the kidney problems develop, and the terms infection-related glomerulonephritis or bacterial infection-related glomerulonephritis are also used. Acute glomerulonephritis resulted in 19,000 deaths in 2013 down from 24,000 deaths in 1990 worldwide. Among the signs and symptoms of acute proliferative glomerulonephritis are the following. Signs and Symptoms Causes Acute proliferative glomerulonephritis is caused by an infection with Streptococcus bacteria, usually three weeks after infection, usually of the pharynx or the skin, given the time required to raise antibodies and complement proteins. The infection causes blood vessels in the kidneys to develop inflammation, this hampers the renal organ's ability to filter urine. Acute proliferative glomerulonephritis most commonly occurs in children. The pathophysiology of this disorder is consistent with an immune complex mediated mechanism, a type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. This disorder produces proteins that have different antigenic determinants, which in turn have an affinity for sites in the glomerulus. As soon as binding occurs to the glomerulus, via interaction with properdin, the complement is activated. Complement fixation causes the generation of additional inflammatory mediators. Complement activation is very important in acute proliferative glomerulonephritis. Apparently immunoglobulin binding proteins bind C4BP. Complement regulatory proteins may be removed by SPEB and therefore restrain FH and FHL1 recruitment in the process of infection. The following diagnostic methods can be used for acute proliferative glomerulonephritis. Clinically, acute proliferative glomerulonephritis is diagnosed following a differential diagnosis between staphylococcal and streptococcal impetigo. Serologically, diagnostic markers can be tested, specifically, the streptozyme test is used and measures multiple streptococcal antibodies, anti-streptolysin, anti-hyaluronidase, anti-streptokinase, antinicotinamide adenine dinucleotidase, and anti-dnase B antibodies. Pathophysiology The differential diagnosis of acute proliferative glomerulonephritis is based on the following. It is unclear whether or not acute proliferative glomerulonephritis can be prevented with early prophylactic antibiotic therapy, with some authorities arguing that antibiotics can prevent development of acute proliferative glomerulonephritis, while others reject that antibiotics can prevent acute proliferative glomerulonephritis. Diagnosis Treatment of acute proliferative glomerulonephritis consists of blood pressure control also a renal biopsy may be needed to be performed at some point. A low-sodium diet may be needed when hypertension is present. In individuals with oliguric acute kidney injury, the amount of potassium should be controlled. Acute glomerulonephritis resulted in 19,000 deaths in 2013 down from 24,000 deaths in 1990. Differential Diagnosis Prevention Treatment
Epidemiology Hematuria, Oliguria, Edema, Hypertension, Fever Kidney Biopsy, Complement Profile, Imaging Studies, Blood Chemistry Studies